Yeah, this spacecraft is amazing, Mr. Bezos. Can I call you Jeff? Anyways, thanks for letting me borrow it for the weekend. Uh-huh. Yeah? Hey, can I call you right back? Mission Control's calling, you know how it is. All right, all right. Mission Control, this is Spacecraft Foxtrot Mike 0021. 0021, this is an emergency notice. Incoming debris, object 10 centimeters in diameter. Take immediate evasive maneuvers. 10 centimeters? That's nothing to worry about, right? Jeff is not gonna like this. While Jeff Bezos may never let me actually borrow a spaceship, collisions with space debris is a very real possibility. So let's try to answer the question. Should we be worried about space debris? To see just how serious of a problem space debris can be, let's take a look at the LEO Lab's Low Earth Orbit Visualization Tool. This is a view of over 19,000 satellites, payloads, and rocket bodies. And this is the same view but with all trackable debris in low Earth orbit. While not to scale, trackable debris as small as 10 centimeters in diameter can cause catastrophic damage to other spacecraft. Such an event was narrowly missed by the International Space Station after Russia conducted an anti-satellite missile test, which created 1,500 pieces of trackable debris. Astronauts on board the ISS were forced to take shelter while passing through the debris field multiple times. According to a 2006 NASA orbital debris study, quote, without environment remediation and the wide implementation of existing orbital debris mitigation policies and guidelines, the risk to space system operations in near-Earth orbits will continue to climb. With all that being said, what's being done to help mitigate the growing issue? Lucky for you, Flying was invited on an exclusive look inside Northrop Grumman's space logistics facility outside Washington, D.C. to take a look at the technology it's developing that could eventually help solve the problem. We spoke with Space Logistics President Robert Haig about the mission extension vehicles that could keep satellites from falling out of their orbits. And the longer companies can keep their satellites operational, the less they have to send new ones to replace them. Something that's the minivan size is the MEV is designed to completely take over the flying of the bus. Remember, a spacecraft has two things. It's got the bus, it's all the stuff to operate it, and then the payload. When we come in and dock, they basically allow us, we literally across the street, fly their spacecraft for them. A lot of these spacecraft, remember the, the motivating principle was they were just running out of fuel. So what if we could just give them the fuel capability? Well, if you give them this big spacecraft, you have this uh, uh, body dynamics and so forth. If we just need to give them electric propulsion to do what's called SK, to do this station, we can talk about this, this north, south, east, west, we can get down to something the size of a dishwasher. And that's the mission extension pod. Even though Northrop Grumman is working to keep satellites in orbit today, the team there says this technology could be the basis for space junk removal in the near future. Do you have a question for flying? Tweet us at Flying Magazine using the hashtag FlyingExplained or email us at explained at flying.media.